Okay, as a new agent, we're not as confident because we're up against agents who have sold hundreds and even thousands of properties. And you're thinking, how can I compete with agents who have sold so much and have so much experience, right? They're so slick and they know everything to say. And, and all the clients want to deal with an experienced agent, not a newer agent, not an inexperienced agent. And so your confidence level just starts to drop, 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 okay? But, however, if you want to succeed, if you do not want to fail in this business, you have to build that confidence, right? You just have to have it, right? What do you base your confidence on? Well, you base it on the fact that you own who you are. If you're a new agent, you need to own it. People just want you to be confident. When they ask you how many properties you sold, they're not necessarily looking to see how many properties you sold, right? That might be half of it, but the other half is they wanna see how you answer it, what your body language is, how what your tone is, right? Are you scared? Are, are you owning your situation? They wanna see that you own your situation and that you're gonna stand up, you're gonna tell the truth, and that you're gonna be real. This is a small little miniature roadblock you should never let anything get in your way, especially something like this. Don't let anything like this stop you or trip you up. You just need to go right over it like nothing happened. A lot of times, especially in the beginning of my career, you know, I like the phrase fake it till you make it. I like to use that a lot because really when, it, when you boil it all down, it means have no fear and just go for it and act like you've been there before. And I think that's the way you should approach a lot of these little situations that trip a lot of people up. But I think when somebody asks you that question, that you should just turn around. You can say anything. I'll tell you what I would say here in a minute, but whatever you say, say it quickly and don't make it an issue. If you make it a big deal and you make it an issue, then it's gonna be an issue. But if you downplay it and act like it's no big thing and keep moving forward with the conversation and take it where you want it, which is how in the world can I help you in terms of buying or selling real estate, then the conversation is gonna go where you want it to go. I think a big part of long-term success is, is adapting and figuring what works and what doesn't work and trying everything and becoming as efficient as you can. A big thing for new agents is losing deals. They take it so hard when they're going after a listing and that seller chooses a different agent to list the property and they thought they had it in the bag. This is really hard on new agents. And I really want to drill in your head that losing deals is actually a great opportunity. A, you learn something and you know next time exactly how to handle that situation a little better. B, you get all the future time back that you don't have to spend on that deal anymore that you can take this new knowledge you learned and this new future time you have back and go get five more deals. I also think mainstream training is really hindering agents from creating those lifelong relationships that they need. 